Hello everybody and hi, my name is Kieran and everybody must die. There's no quarter for the Craven, there's no mercy in my soul. Everybody gotta go. Or do they? I don't know. Let's find out. Kishoink. Leophoros Alexandrus. Royalty free YouTube music. April 30, 1906. Goldsworthy Mental Health Rehabilitation Center. Oh, what a bender. I, 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 I had that dream again. This place is completely, completely contaminated. Everybody has cooties. I must stop this. I must stop this. Everybody must die. I must stop the spread of cooties. I must kill them all with my own hands. You, you sure about that, man? That seems a little drastic for some cooties. The thoughts won't stop. Oh, hold on. Let me examine. Second floor quarantine. Um, hello, sir. Touch won't stop. How do I... How do you, I'm sorry. Hey, Greg, you must die. I'm really sorry to tell you this, but there's been a cooties outbreak and it simply cannot continue. You must die. I must die. We all must die. Public relations flyer for the clinic. Goldworthy Mental Health Rehabilitation Clinic is now accepting patients. Senile dementia, hysteria, trauma, other substance abuse, or addiction-related disorders, etc. Dr. Peter Goldworthy, the most renowned in Europe, performs surgeries himself. Then I don't trust him. Also, why can I move this chair? I like that I can, but why can I move this chair? Can I move? Yeah, I can move other chairs. Wardrobe with missing handle must find handle to open doors. Certainly. When do I get to the eradication of cooties? Steel door to prevent patients escaping. The nurse has the key. Nurse gotta go first. Hello, nurse. The director is quite mad because of your actions recently, Mr. Osborne. Well, that's a shame for you then. Shame that you are the source of cootie, so you must go first, cutie. Cutie cutie. Letter to Anna. Dear my loving daughter, Anna. I'm doing well. The director and the nurses are all friendly. Life at the clinic is all good except for one elderly man next door who keeps making a ruckus every day. They say I have to check up... I'm sorry? They say I have to check up tomorrow in the basement. I'll write you again afterwards. Mmm. Sounds like a lobotomy. A closet handle. Need to open the closet. I can. It can be removed by slightly twisting it. I'm just gonna take this, if that's okay. Don't. Don't worry. Um. It's mine. <laughs> I'm just being a silly little guy. Just a silly little bimbo. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm just a senile old little goofball having a gaff. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Well, you caused this cutie and you got to die, cutie. Born. No, buddy, no. It was a gaff. A simple goof. There's not actually cooties. Oh, dear. Oh, this is unfortunate. Well, let's continue. Surgery notes of a nurse. Mary, we're going to begin Mr. Osborne's surgery at midnight today. You know, the gramps who keep saying the hospital is tainted and that'll kill everyone. <laughs> Honestly, it just keeps going off about it. I don't even get it. it. Keeps rambling about cooties. I'm like, who would even touch you, man? It's said to be a simple operation where some brain tissues are removed. Make sure to inject him with sedatives beforehand. We don't want him running wild again. Ugh, got real bad. Bad news for you on that front, chief. What is this? Bag falls from the ceiling. It has an extremely foul stench. I don't want to open it. Oh, I got the knife on my belt. Good. All right, well, this is my stench bag now. Hey, do you like this stench bag? It smells really bad. 
Don't pull scary pranks like that. I'm not pranking you. It's all real, my dude. All right, I'm gonna keep this with me. Uh, steel doors, lock, large padlock. Gotcha. So I'll need some kind of key or some such. Hey, please calm down. Don't you tell me to calm down. Nobody tells Osborne to calm down. You got me? Don't talk to me like that, you harpy. You succubus. No one tells Ozzy what to do. Ozzy a beefcake. Absolute man's man. Nobody talked to Ozzy like that. Nobody talked to Ozzy like that. What does this say? Old letter. Director, if you're not going to pay me for this month either, I'm going to have to stop working here. I plead you to take care of it this month. Oh, by the way, a few patients have res reported a sort of boiling sound in the corridor. I administered sedatives to them as per the manual. Mmm. You boiling our brain goop? I don't think you should be boiling brain goop, Mr. Director, sir. And does this... Yeah, I'd assumed so. Wait, how do I get... Okay, good. I just, well, I, you know, I just kind of like the pain, you know? I get off to it. Where did I put the bag? Ah, good. My stench bag. My favorite toy to play with and chew on. It's like a stress ball, but like so much worse. Gosh dang it. Oh, wait a minute. Could I have... Oh, could I have actually like taken that? Broken knife. Don't think I can use this. What did you trip down the stairs? Maybe I could have stabbed the bag open actually now that I think of it. Could have opened it like that. All right. Bare hand in it. You're saying. Or, oh, wait, that's where there was a bear trap. So I could, like, test it and, and realize, oh, don't want those, because I don't think I want to get caught by these guys unarmed. Old letter from the director. This is Director Guildsworthy. Recently, there have been some undesirable incidents and negative rumors spreading. Please do not pay heed to these, but rather tr trust me and follow my lead a little longer. P.S. We will be having vaccinations at the basement treatment room for every other, every other day for the staff. Please don't be late coming down there. Vaccinations? Sounds like mind control to me. Oh, mm, must find three clues. A word combination. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> There's so much meat. Eh. <laughs> this is so brutal. Holy crap. My goodness. Sorry, your door bolts on the other side. Can I axe it down? Okay, I don't think I can. I just, but I took two two by fours to the skull. Steel box of clues inside knee screwdriver. Okay. I took two just thwacks to the skull and it didn't even phase me. Oh, that's a screwdriver behind there, it looks like. Okay. I need to sneak around there. Nurse. Come on out, homie. What does this say? Found a clue. Beach. <laughs> Beach. Okay, so beach is one thing. Director will be very mad. No, it's me. It's me. <gasps> I'm sure you're a lovely lady, and I apologize greatly. Must find a key. Well, who's got a key for me? Wait, no, no. Okay, there we go. Okay, I do take damage. Stop it, Osborne. What? You can't tell me what to do. Beach heat. Hold on, there's a thing over here. Patient record, John Osborne. Hey, that's me. Remarks. No relative has a long history of being homeless. Is a war veteran of the Afghanistan War of 1840 as a military officer. Is severely closed off to sharing personal details. Diagnostic details. Stress disorder due to war. PTSD. Senile dementia. PTSD and dementia does not sound like a good combination. 12 attempts of forced chemical treatment was made, but to no avail. Frontal lobotomy is scheduled for April 30th. It is a lobotomy. They're trying to take my my sense of self away. You can't do it to me. I'm a good old man. You're wrong, and you gotta die for your cooties and such. And also, like, this is starting to feel too dark to joke about. <laughs> Patient record: Eric Blair. Diagnostic details: disordered sense of direction, severe delusion. Treatment details: continuous administration of sedatives and use of perif periphery equipment. March 20th, 1906, treatment undergone at the basement treat room. 
Eric Blair. I'll be with you, homie. I think I can do something with this. Well, take it on and just slip that uh, axe right on into your belt buckle. Letter to Robert. Robert, get me out of here. I'm really not kidding this time. The people are turning in a horrifying way. After they receive some treatment from the basement, they act like they're all possessed by something. I don't want to undergo the treatment, but I can't hold it off anymore. By the time this letter reaches you, I might be like them. However, this might be me that you... This might be the me that you want to see. Robert, I did many wrong things. I'm sorry. Lobotomies are genuinely quite scary. They're a freaky... Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, ha! Ah, that's a big spider! Why is that... Why does that spider exist? Are there monsters here? Oh! Oh, gross! The whole concept of frontal lobotomies are just... is just genuinely a terrifying thing to think about. There we go! Now we're working it. Oh, crap. Um... Gentlemen. There you go. Ain't no thing. Actually, could I have killed... No, I couldn't kill them with this. Alright. Well, at least you guys are all together. Oh, that is just, that is just the worst, right? And I needed this last one. Uh, yeah. Beach heat season. Summer. I'm gonna say summer. Uh, oh. S summer. Yeah, there we go. All right, anybody around here? Nope, guys, stop. Stop touching me. Oh my gosh, he ate me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, back to work. Cootie, 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 cootie. Actually, do I even need to go through all this? Cause like the, I know the answer. Do these people need to die? <laughs> Gosh dang it, I do need to, I need to actually know things. Oof. Oh, it's different. Oh, wait a minute. If it's different seasons, then does, does this work? Okay. Loopholes, gentlemen, loopholes. Okay, one at a time, maybe? One at a time, maybe? Wow, those guys are serious. I wonder if there's a different weapon that I can find somewhere that might be a little bit more uh, useful in this moment. Beach, okay, we're back to summer. Let me go through and just check if there's anything else that I could be using. Excuse me, madam. Oh wait, did I read this? Hmm, I didn't. Patient record, Phyllis Riddle. Diagnostic detail, exacerbated visual and auditory hallucinations in the early hours, in the early morning hours. Treatment details, April 14th, 1906, treatment undergone to the basement treatment room. Okay, there's this thing. Okay, there are two shots. I wonder if I can like, maybe hit them and then run away? Maybe that's a thing that would be good to do? Because it doesn't look like there's anything else that I can be using. Yeah, okay, there we go. There, just draw them out. Okay, don't rush in while nearing death. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're good. Anybody else? No, we're all good. Everybody's happy. Everybody's smiling. Journal, journal entry of a staff member. February 3rd, 1906. Cloudy. Ben left last week. Ben was always timid, but he was especially afraid of the basement. He kept going on that his dead twin brother was in the basement. Nobody believed him, but nobody wanted to go to the basement treatment room either. The director asked me to organize the documents in the basement tomorrow. It doesn't feel good to be alone with the director. I understand a bit of the story now, actually. The sick, I was gonna say the thickness. The sickness that Ozzy is seeing is everybody coming up from lobotomies and being completely changed people and sort of more zombie-ish. That's the, the sickness that he's seeing. That's why he is killing everybody because he thinks that he's gonna catch their lobotomy, which in a way, not entirely incorrect. Oh, we're going down to the basement. Can I take one step out till I kill them all? Do, what, go downstairs slower. Holy crap! <laughs> That's a big boy! Why do you keep tripping down the stairs, man? Where, where is a weapon? Where is a, where is a weapon that I can use? A stabby would be really nice. Letter from Boiler Engineer. Dear Chief, this morning there was a request sent from the Goldsbury Clinic, no, Goldsworthy Clinic, that their boiler broke down. 
As they said, the clinic was deep in the woods. In the wads. The staff members were very friendly. I even got to drink a cup of tea. Oh, how nice. The boiler room was deep inside the basement, but it was a little strange, especially the smell. The smell of something rotting filled the place. In one room, there was blood on the floor, and the ceiling was f full of sacks hung from it. They said it was pork that they were storing. I wonder if they really consume that much meat, but I decided to let it slide. Oh, Ozzy's getting naughty. Rest the steel door. It's locked with the padlock. Okay, so I need a key of some kind. What is... Why do you... Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Hello there, sir or ma'am. Letter... Oh, no. That was not a good cup of tea. The boiler was fixed click quickly by exchanging a valve, but then I suddenly thought to myself, do people really store butchered meat in sacks? When I asked this question, the staff member's expression changed into a hard look. I didn't inquire further. I first made my way to the first floor to write this letter to you, Chief. As soon as I make my way back, I'm going to send this letter, then go to the police department. You don't need to worry. From William. I think Chief maybe should have been worried just a little bit. They either kept him in here or he killed himself. Um, either way... Not a positive time, but at least you got tea, my guy. You got some tea, and I'm finding secrets. <gasps> oh! I don't know what I'm looking for here, but I'm finding it. Huh? There we are. What is this room, then? Director's Journal Entry. June 12th, 1904. I renovated an abandoned mental hospital and opened this rehabilitation clinic. There are a lot of things to do in my last years. August 2nd, 1904. Freud, Freud's? The interpretation of dreams is wildly popular. Dr. Freud said that fear and feeling of Feelings of dread can be overcome with converse, con, converse, conversation treatment? How stupid. Is he going to make people with a cold better with conversation too? No problem can be solved without touching the brain. There are too many things to prove. October 4th, 1904. We have had many new employees and patients. I'm planning to build an annex in the backyard. What is an annex? <gasps> Wait, no, 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 no. Problem, 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 problem. Okay, okay, hold on. Do I do I have the key on me still? Uh, take it. Uh, oh! What the heck are you? What? What is that? What did you do to him, Doctor? Doctor Direct? What was that all about? Director's Journal Entry, March 12th, 1905. There's a rotten stench overpowering the construction site of the annex in the backyard. To add insult to injury, there was a report of a tooth being found in a patient's meal. What is going on? May 1905. What is the date today? Last month, eight patients died at once. I don't know the cause. For the time being, I bribed the police and covered it up as being food poisoning incident. The innocent employees at the green room were detained. October 1905, many employees and patients left the clinic. The only ones left are severe grade patients and staff who have nowhere to go. It's difficult to even pay the wages. I can't close the cl clinic. I can't leave a record of failure in my life. So is this the director, like, his lobotomies aren't going as well as he thought they ought to go? Is that what this all is? Is he realizing that he's an idiot? And having to struggle with that realization? Okay, so that's all just a loop. Okay, so I don't know where that guy came from. I thought there would be, like, another door or something. All right, well, I got my rifle. It's time to go hunting. I'm a hunting human. All right, boys, come at me. Oh, my gosh, they're dead. They're straight up dead. Go back. No, no, doctor. No, doctor. 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 Come on, doctor. Doctor, come on in here, doctor. Director, doctor. Found a note with darkness. Okay. Why are you guys like, are you guys like reanimated? Is that what he's doing? He's like bringing you guys back from the dead?
The director will be mad. Well, that's not really my chief concern right now. I'm kind of trying not to die, personally. Ooh, the sacks. The sexy sacks of meat and such. Oh. There we go. Thank goodness I got a lever action. What kind of spiders take two bullets to die? Someone's note, you should have listened. You shouldn't go there. Well, then I'm going to take your advice and just break out of here. Just ski diddly addle. Bolt it on the other side. Got it. No way of opening this. Got it. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to assert myself and express my desires. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, sir. Please, please, sir. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, fiddly. Oh, well, that's really kind of you, Mr. Game Maker Man. How many does he take? He takes three. Okay. I can do three. Sky. Okay, it's going to be day or night, I'm thinking. Okay. Oh. Um. Or dawn? I don't know. Okay, so that's the thing that I'm looking for clues. That's the door. Okay, I missed that the first time. It's good. Whoops. To have that in mind. Yeah, I don't know what... I honestly don't know what this is. Because now I'm, it sounds like the doctor didn't have malintent with all this, necessarily. Seems like he might be another unwitting victim of everything. But even that may not be true. He might be, like, just criminally negligent. But it, it also seems likely that he's just kind of... He could also be a victim of something here. Yeah. <sighs> Quickest hand in the West. Ain't nobody faster. Nobody faster than the Grand P. Osborne. There. There. Who's next? Okay, another big in. Another big thicky. Big thicky with the no hair. <laughs> Got him. The yellow glass bottle reeks of sour stench. Probably pee pee. If I had to gigas. Director's journal entry, January 11th, 1906. By chance, I came across a hidden space in the basement. This may have been the quarantine room in the previous mental clinic, but if I re-renovate re re it well, I think it could be used as a treatment room. Or sick kettle. Many pock marks in it. Scissors? But can cut something. Okay, I might need to cut something then. I'm curious to find out who's who's guilty and how guilty they are. Wait. Okay. I just need to make sure you check my corners, make sure there's nobody like around me or anything. A small bell pressing it doesn't yield a sound. Wait, no, that's there we go. Director's journal entry, January 18th, 1906. It's such a strange happening. I went down to the basement with Donald the Grouch for the treatment room renovations. We came across a deep hole at the end of the corridor with an overpowering foul stench. I told Donald to go down there, but he refused. He went down only after I promised him two months' wages. Donald, who returned after a long while, looked strange. He was pale and his eyes wouldn't focus. I felt sorry and told him that I'll make sure to pay him the money I promised, to which he said there's no need. Donald refusing money? Maybe it's not lobotomy. Toolbox screwdriver. Okay, so there's scissors that I can cut with. What is this? It can tighten and fix up. There's a lot of tools in this room for my usage. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them or some of them or none of them. Director's journal entry, January 22nd, 1906. Afterwards, Donald became a different person. He participated in the new building's constructions without being tardy. His face was filled with smiles. The staff liked Donald being like this. I haven't told anyone about what happened before. What did happen? I think them spiders is some kind of parasite. Yeah, these ones. These ones here. Yeah. That one ex explicitly. That one there. Um. I think there's some kind of even worse than the lobotomy. I think it's spiders in the brain. There's bugs in the brain. Unless I'm also, like, hallucinating this aspect of everything. Okay, crap, 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 crap. Oh, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy boy. Yeah, quickest hand in the West, quickest hand in the West! Come on! Oh, crap. 
All right. Maple. Trees? That's a hard nope. Okay, at least it gives me that much of a save. It's not pushing me all the way back to having to get the gun. That much I appreciate. That much is kind. Okay, enough yammering. It's time to get killing. I think a good general rule is just to... If I don't know exactly what I'm up against, it's just better that I go slow with it. Hmm. There we go. Okay, now up to the ward. And there's gonna be a bunch of boys in here. And I don't just want to run in, guns blazing, willy and nilly. Oh boy. Right, and these guys come in behind me. That's the part that really got me. Okay. Uh, let me read this. Short note, Arthur, I put a key to the steel rack on top of the picture frame. You're tall, so you should be able to reach him without a problem. If you can't, try using any stick. Broken ladder, jigsaw. If I had a jigsaw, I'd make a long one. Sir. Wow! Oh, there's a screwdriver. Okay, let me actually just settle this all really quickly. Just get it out of the way. Hey, homie. What's cracking, shoddy? Okay. So, do I need, like, a, a jigsaw? Okay. I'll take this. And I'll use it on here. And I'll take this. Because I see a big old picture down here. Wait a minute. Unscrew my had a spanner. Spanner will span me delighted because I think that's what this is. And we're just going to go over here. Yeah. Shove that out the way. There we are. A key. What did I need this key for? Was this key for this? Uh, kill you. No problem. All right. Found a note. Color. Maple color. Chopping firewood. Hmm. Now I'm going to keep the gun. Personally, I'm feeling pretty good about the gun. The gun is just rubbing me quite the right way. Mining it doesn't make it work. So I'm gonna, I got my fingers poised and ready to switch to my weapon at a moment's notice. Okay, and there. Cannot be used here, cannot be used here. Steel box, clues, I need a screwdriver. Cannot be used here. What do you do, like a special screwdriver? What do you mean a screwdriver can't be used there? That's a, that's what it is. Oh, broken chest drawer. <gasps> ah! Okay, that's what that screw. That was the that was the drawer screwdriver specifically, and not to be confused with the cage screwdriver. Very different brand and make and model. Terrible thing to try and like uh, interchange. Really disastrous. Probably gonna kill you. Uh, small, full of bubbles. Yeah, bubble. All right. Well, I thought that that was my my screwdriver. I thought that was my my ticket, my ticket to win it. So now I'm just simply kerfuffled, <laughs> a little bit fandangled, if I'm honest. Let's go out here see if there's more people that need to be uh, taught a quick lesson in death. Always, always. There we go. Goodness gracious. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's the same clue. Oh, okay, I'm back at the start now. Um, right, so this is the door I want. It's three... It's three letters. I actually don't know what it is. Ow. No, oh, crap, crap, crap. You can't stop me! Screwdriver. Wider letter screw. I'm screwing you in wide someday. My screwdriver, screwdriver. Wherever you're screwing, I'm driving the same. I can take these scissors for something, but I don't know what. I can't unscrew these metal bars, but I can cut it. I'm a beefy boy. I can cut it real good. Red. I think it's red. Red is a color 
A little foggy on maple, but, you know, maple red leaves, sh sure. Maple Canadian flag, anyone? Ow. Okay. Oh, hold on, actually. What is... Is that a thing I can do? I don't know. It looks creepy. I assume I could do it. There we go. Okay. Taking it slowly. Oh! I thought that was like a hunchback type thing, but that was a spider human. Oh dear. I'm starting to think that Osborne's not actually delusional. He might actually be a hero. This is not as dark a story as I initially believed it to be. This is a story of a brave man. This is a story of a brave man doing brave things. Figured that would be it. Oh my gosh, there's one more floor down. Don't break the gun on your way down, Osborne, please. You... Okay, you're, you're not an idiot, actually. I was gonna insult you, but you, you don't deserve it this time. You're all right in my books, buddy. Journal entry. February 14th, 1906. I purified 24 people as of today. The method was simple. Bring the people to the basement, put them in that hole, telling them it's for treatment. The purified people change without exception. Their greed and complaints disappear and they become pure, like a newborn baby. The number of staff and patients left now is 31. It's a little bit smaller than that, actually. So <gasps> Severed human head. It's decayed to the point where I can't recognize who it is. Just take that with me here. So I might have actually been doing people favors by killing them, because now they're not going to be infected and turn into these things that these things are, whatever these things are. Uh, oh boy. Is this a ladder? Can I leave? Can I go home? Baby, go home now? Oh boy. Okay, no, no, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, no. Wait, how far is that? Okay. Good, I can work with that. Why is everything falling from the ceiling around here? You guys just need to invest in some better ceiling infrastructure. It's expensive, but it's worth it. I don't want to get I want to get head butted by someone else's head without them. Okay. There we go. That's all good. That's all good. I don't want to get caught up in a trap. That doesn't sound fun to me. Hurriedly scribbled note, graphite sap and many internal organs. Graphite sap, are you, is that what's in the hole? Graphite sap and many internal organs because it's replacing the organs with graphite and sap? Dope, that's a thing, that's a, yeah, that's a creepy thing. Ooh, I don't like that. Is that the end goal for all of these creatures? To become spiders with human heads? Okay. Uh, director's journal entry, April 26, 1906. Now there's no one left. An elderly man named... Uh, now there is one left. An elderly man named Osborne. He violently resists, so I've been trying to drag him down to the basement for months, but it hasn't been easy. Now we have no time. I will extract that man's frontal lobe and finish this. I'm going to block that strange hole and restart the clinic's operations. In this glorious kingdom, the glorious research will resume. Okay, so he can't do me... So he's just gonna lobotomize me, kill me, effectively. And then he's gonna go on to do more of this thing. That was close. That one was closer than I like. Nope! I don't care what you are. I think that was a nurse. I love that. Dip is sharp. Hold on, which way do I want to go, though? I want to explore everything. Earth and gonna be explored. This is the more obvious route, so I'm gonna go this way instead. That is my logic, and I'm sticking to it. 
And there's a note up here. Don't you guys want to read a note? Director's Journal entry February 14th, 1906. Oh, no, 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 no. This is where we just were. Okay. All right, then. Yeah, we'll just go this way. That'll be fine. Yeah. Wasn't sure if there was a key in there or not. Yeah, this is okay. Oh my gosh, I can. I didn't think I could, but I, I can move the bags. The sacks of schmeat. There's going to be a big old hole around here somewhere. Okay. Director's la- Director! Good to see you, lad. What have I done? Lord, throw me into the embers of hell. I tried to install explosives with staff to fill the hole. They gave me frightening glares. They choked me and tried to beat me to death. My loyal staff. No. I actually knew it, too. There. It must be stopped. It must be stopped before something comes out of that cursed hole. Before it's too... L and then he got us booted. He went out the way we all wish we could. The way every rock star dreams. Getting your head smushed in a psychedelic drug basement. Well, just taking a large cave. You don't say. You don't say that to me, by. Well... Let's grab a few of them. Oh, crap. Okay, no. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Oh, okay. Wow. 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 That, those guys really just come up out of nowhere. You do not look good, madam. Okay, let me go up first. Try to deal with it like that. No. Gosh, okay. Quasi modo. Okay, yep. Yeah. Stop. If I can get him, if I can get him. Mmm! Where it hurts. Yeah, dude, why don't you all just get in on it? Gosh, just dogpile Kieran. Freaking losers. What are you trying to do it for? Oh, sure. Okay. Is that enough? Yep. Okay, yep. And I can do this one. Easy enough. And then one more for you. And then you, sir. And then you. Oh, maybe I. Oh, maybe I can't actually. Okay, actually, you know what? I think I know what it is. I think I just have to sprint for it. I just have to make a run for the cave, the hole. Let's go! Yep, 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 yep. Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, if I get, can I get? Oh wait, I have to, ex I have to shoot it, don't I? I have to shoot the explosives to set it off. You don't own me, hooligans! Crap, how do I do it then? Hmm. Shots! Shot! 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 Everybody! Does this note say something about the detonation? No, doesn't look like. It. Oh wait, this is the charge here. Um. Okay, so I'll take this up, and then there's gonna be a bunch of people come down. Okay, yeah, get out of here. Get out of the way. 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 We're gonna way. Get away now. Go to me now. Go to me. Go to me. Crap! 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 Gosh dang it! He got me. Ah, how do you do this thing that you do there by? Let me just, okay, let me start by just pick this up, put it down. Is there anything else that I can do? There is nothing else here. Take this up. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Okay, he just spawns here. Yeah, so there's no point trying to do anything with him. Can I not move? into that hole, into the, the hentai pit. Can I not get into the hentussy? I would like to get into the hentussy. If at all possible. Hmm. I cannot enter the hentussy. It doesn't appear like I can shoot it when it's there. Can I just say how meaty the gunshot is? That is such a good sound. And like the, the little screen rattle. My goodness, it is such a powerful feeling pop. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Can I do... Okay, actually, upon further investigation, it looks like I do actually have to fight. I have to kill all these people first, and then I can go in the hole. I have to win out against them before I can go in to the hole and be the hero. I was... Gosh dang it! Just turn around! Just turn around, Osborne! I think that's what has to happen. I have to kill, I have to make a last stand, and then, uh, with my war wounds well licked, go up and uh, finish out this epic fight. Stop. 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 Okay, nope. Better die, better die, better die, better die, better die. Oh! Better die, better die, better die, better die. Yep. Okay. I don't know how many more there are, but this seems to be the only thing I can do. Okay, gonna die, gonna die, better die. Mmm, better die. Okay, yeah, and then the big boy. Okay. Into the Hentosi we go. On May 1st, 1906, a fire broke out in the Goldsworthy Rehab Center on the outskirts of Sheffield. All 55 people, including staff and patients, died in the fire and there were no survivors. John Osborne. After extinguishing the fire, the police found an elderly man near the center who was deemed the suspect. The man admitted to arson, but argued that it was a righteous act. Oh, he didn't, he, okay, so there was one survivor. As proof, he submitted the journal of Dr. Goldsworth. Not Goldsworthy? He said that the journal held the heinous acts of the director as well as the context of the case. However, the only evidence in the case of the director's journal disappeared into thin air during the trials. As evidence vanished, there was no way of proving the elderly man's innocence. Most of the jury deemed this to be a crime committed by the man out of insanity. The day before the final verdict, the elderly man passed away. He was shouting that everybody must die until his last breath. As such, the truth of the fire at the Goldsworthy Rehab Center disappeared into the shadows. That is friggin' awesome. Wow, that was that's a such a good game. So did it really happen or was it just his insanity? We'll never know. I love that. I loved every second of that. It was creepy. The all the attacks was meaty. It was brutal. The story was evolving really well. They wanted me to think it was a lobotomy and they succeeded in that. And then it wasn't a lobotomy. It was a le bussy. That is wonderful. That is a wonderful game. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful game. And if you want to try it for yourself, the link is in the description to go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. If you want to see more cool indie games, more long form series, and you just want to help me make people happy every day, then please subscribe to the channel, share me to your friends, uh, whatever you feel, man. Honestly, just have a good time. But of course, whether you're new or old here, regardless, as always, I love you and I hope you have a wonderful day.